Hey guys, welcome. It's Cam Callender here with the MSI concept. So first virtual event, and we'll have many others uh, going over the MSI concept and the eight streams of income. So what we specifically work here and what I wanted to show in this meetup group and what we'll be growing towards is capturing all eight income streams, which I have been able to do already myself. So you'll be able to walk through, we'll be walking through each different income stream on a weekly or on a bi-weekly basis. So you can capture all eight income streams as well. Um, there's many different ways in each income stream type. You know, most people are under the impression that multiple streams of income is like having two, two or three jobs. Uh, but this here, we focus on different types of income to diversify yourself and your income and your financial stability. So the more income streams that you have, the more financially diverse you can be and protect yourself from different things that happen around the world. Um, definitely with experiences like COVID showing that things can change on a, on a dime all by itself, you know, with the way that technology changes, the world changes. So you wanna be able to protect yourself financially by having those different income streams. So working with the MSI concept and developing these income streams is how we'll do that with the knowledge that I've researched and I've done and all the products and services that I've worked with. I've personally used all of the products and services, personally captured all eight income streams. So I'm here sharing that knowledge of wealth with everyone else that I've learned over, this, over the years, been able to capture all eight income streams, been able to become a, a co-author on Amazon, as well as get my name listed through Google as well. So that's right, you can Google me, I'm a real person. You can find all of my information, it's completely public, very transparent on everything that I do with the MSI concept and the businesses that I own and, it, and the incomes that I've generated through the MSI concept and everything that I've come to learn throughout the, throughout the years. So we're covering a bunch of different income streams. Um, all eight of them, they are in order of how they are generally obtained. So you have them one through eight. Most people start with a job, you know, then they can go into some type of side business, profiting from sales of some sort. And then they begin to start to develop additional income, you know, either through interest, through stocks and investments, so on and so forth. So generally you're starting with that job income, but that's what the MSI concept is, is based upon. You start with one income and you use that income to start to develop others. So when you're developing those additional streams of income, you take one and build into others and build, can continue to build on so on and so forth. So you just keep on building income after income stream from starting from the first one and continuing to go on down. Uh, well, we, diving into a lot of different ways to do that. Um, a lot of different investment styles uh, from stocks, bonds, crypto, all of those different things, uh, dividend stocks. We'll be going into rental income, getting credit, because uh, I do own a credit repair company as well. So getting your credit and utilizing that as well to develop and build on your income streams, um, like getting rental income, capital gains, um, which we'll go into uh, a bit. Uh, as far as getting those investments to grow and what you, you make off of those. And then royalty income as well, when you get paid off of your ideas. Uh, that's why all, all of these will be recorded. I see the recordings up as well um, when we do these virtual sessions. And um, so we'll have all the virtual sessions recorded. And then we will have local sessions as well here in Arizona. Uh, so if you, uh, the meetup group, we will have, I already have a venue uh, already established. So we will be doing those. Uh, I'm, probably going to start that in March. Um, that way it'll give us time to grow virtually and connect here online. So save some people drive time because I know we all have busy schedules, uh, but then we'll get into uh, meeting up in person as well uh, in the venue that I have. So we'll definitely be doing that. And um, we'll have some meetup groups. Uh, we'll bring everything together, bring everybody together and we'll do some product showcases. So that way you can have a direct contact and show you how to work through some of the software and applications that I utilize that help me grow my income streams. So you'll be able to utilize that information as well uh, when we meet in person uh, as we go over the different income streams. So this first month, we'll just be going over the different income streams and the types just to kind of give a breakdown on all eight income streams. And then next month, we'll actually be diving in to developing and building those income streams. So that's the plan. What we have going here with the MSI concept and this meetup group I definitely wanted to get everybody together to, to share that information and get a couple of videos out. Um, we'll do another bi-weekly uh, later this month uh, before we go into the local meetups. Uh, 
And then that way, you know, everybody will be have a chance to meet online. They'll get to watch some of the recordings. Um, you'll be able to see my overviews on YouTube as well from the past content that I've created for the MSI concept. And then we can build from there as we go into the different applications and actually going into the action plans of building each income stream. Because everybody's a little bit different and they'll have different ways that they'll want to go about the different income streams. Um, just for example, like income stream number one, a job. Everybody has a different job, but many of us can be in the same industry. So there's different types of uh, ways to build on those different income streams. So we'll cover those more in the local meetups on the actual action plans. And the overviews that we'll do here online will just be overviews and, and kind of examples to, to go over the different income streams. So that's why I wanted to cover this meeting short and sweet for this week. I will go into more details uh, as the weeks go and full, unfold and as we get more people coming into the meetings. So I'll go ahead and unmute everybody and we'll open it up for any questions. I think it's just you and I. Yes, it is, Steve. Just you and I. So I, I know, I know. I have a job, so that's one. All right. Uh, dividend income. I'm. Uh, I do have stocks. Great. Yes. Yeah. That's definitely, definitely good. There. A uh, great way to start. Um, those are those are the most two common. Uh, most people, especially now with the uh, ease of investments in and fractional shares and the apps that are available to invest with. Uh, so it's a lot easier to, uh, for people to start to get into the investing realm as well. Uh, do you happen to have any crypto as well? I got play, I got, I got some of that too. All right, all right. Yeah, that's the next phase as well. Um, a lot of people are still learning about it. Um, do you happen to stake your crypto as well? Yes. All right, there you go. Um, so there, that's, yeah, that's another uh, income stream getting into that dividend income. Um, so uh, evolution of that from, from stocks to crypto, uh, similar, but different, definitely different markets. They move completely differently. But uh, that same kind of style of getting dividend income, uh, we'll work on showing people how to stake their crypto as well. Do you have any questions so far? No, all right. All right. Well, definitely, thanks for joining this meeting is going to be pretty short since it's only just you and I uh, but we'll definitely hope to uh, get more of the members there was definitely a few other members that joined today so we'll definitely have some more members coming in as the as the group grows you might want to take the was that Steve you broke up a little bit there Oh, there you are. I thought you left. Go ahead, Steve. You're saying? You might want to uh, go to Bitcoin meetups around here and see if anybody's interested. Yeah, I'll definitely have, I'll definitely have some more people. I just launched the group this month. So it's only been a only been about a week of, of promoting it. So I'll definitely get some more members growing in. So I've had a few people that have wanted me to start the group from uh, other groups as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, once we once we get the local going, uh, we'll definitely have more people joining in as well as we get the local meetup started next month. Mostly the the Bitcoin clubs I go to. I only go to one, but usually the people they get in there to come talk to me with the scans is, is, is they want to trade, trade cryptocurrencies. Yes, I do a bit of trading as well. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, no, charts and charts and cryptocurrencies don't work out very well. Yeah, yeah, it's a definitely a different finite, uh, way to do it. Um, I do a couple of different ways, uh, especially in the Forex markets with trading crypto, um, watching the markets, uh, get, catch a little bit on dips, but I mostly go for uh, dip gains and staking. Yeah, that's basically staking is, a, stake is, a, is my primary goal yeah. in cryptos. I do a couple of different ways. I have another uh, 
uh, team that I partner with and community that we go over kind of a bunch of different strategies as far as crypto investing. And so that's, that'll be one of the products and services that I'll definitely be sharing as we get into uh, the local meetups, showing everybody how kind of how things work and the different ways to uh, diversify your income types. I'm looking at the Bitcoin chart today. Here's a good example, just today from 155, I was at 36,300. And at five, it was at 37,244. Yeah, yeah, big swings in crypto. Yeah, that's why I use it. it's, it's crazy to even try to day, day trade this stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, day, day trading is a different realm in crypto, um, but there, there are a couple of ways to do it. And I've shown a couple of people uh, how, to, how to do it. Um, the way that I do it, I do it a little bit differently. Um, is I, I do a swing trade when I do crypto. Um, so I'll buy at certain levels and resell it at different targets. So I sh I'll show you guys uh, when I get into that as well. Okay. So, but the, yeah, there are a couple of different strategies behind it. Okay. And then so uh, I'll definitely be sharing a bunch of that type of knowledge as we get as we get growing going in the group and growing. And you got the stable coins like through Voyager to pay nine percent on USDC. Oh yeah. That's a nice percentage. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some good percentages. I've got some good staking percentages as well. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, this is gonna be pretty much high level overviews. And then for those that want to get deeper into it, I have other uh, programs and systems to, to tap All them right. into. Uh, rental income, I don't think. I wouldn't want to touch rental in income for, for the main reason that I've heard too many horror stories, especially the past year and a half of COVID, of people just not paying the rent. Yep. That's yeah, a big, big concern of mine. Things that have been that have changed. That's why it's best to have all of your different income streams. So that way that you're not as affected by those types of things and changes in, in right. the economy. All right, if, 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 yeah, but if, if you buy a, part, a, a rental apartment, and it's got four units in there, and you have to pay the, the you have to pay the monthly uh, mortgage on it. If if half 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 of your tenants ain't paying rent, you can't pay the mortgage. Yeah, in that scenario. But if you have diversified with your different income types, then you've already covered that. You already have that covered. That's why that's why rental income is farther down. I I'd actually put that at the end. Yeah. Well, maybe making royalty income it, we, we should be. You probably should put that up further up there because if you can make royalty income, you're doing good. Yeah. But you have to be able to develop that content and produce right. something that that. That's why it's at the end because not a lot of people are producing something that they can gain royalties off of. Okay. So it's not just the income type, it's the, the method in obtaining it as well. Okay, well, why would why would uh why would profit income be so high up? Could be in dividend dividend income is easier to get get your hands on. Profit income be the same as getting your hands on as well. Profit income has been the dawn of time in buying and selling. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get the I get the concept of it, but you gotta go you gotta go look for the stuff to buy, and then you gotta look find a buyer to sell it to. Not necessarily with the technology. I've been buying and selling. I had profit income when I was 13 years old, and as soon as the internet started, I had an e I had a store on eBay. As soon as eBay eBay first opened up, I did that as a miner. So profit income can be developed very very easily as an additional income stream. Yeah, but where 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 were you buying the products at? I drop sold products. I didn't have to buy product. Oh, drop sell. Yep. Okay. You do it on Amazon too. Yep. Yeah, especially the markets like Amazon now. Uh, profit income. Profit income also relates to the buy and sell of any commodity. So buying and selling crypto, stocks, bonds, anything that you're buying and then reselling. You can profit off of. So you 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 put uh, day trading in there. Yes, profit. day trading would be and okay. it would be under profit income. You're buying and selling. Okay. Yep. 
Okay. Good question. But yeah, that's it. the the met the means of obtaining is is also what high, plays a part in the ranking. Okay. Uh, interesting comes interesting to me. Yes. And interesting comes is another one where it's where it's from lending so a lot of with subprime lending. I have a different platform that I actually directly lend to, and it's an investment platform as well. Um, there are several platforms that do it now um, that you can tap into interest income a little bit easier, um, but it is a bit more riskier with the uh, with the economy. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Oh, good. I think three would be really interesting. Definitely. Uh, residual income, that's basically what all this is, would be. What's the difference between royalty income and re residual income? Yeah, residual income, what that is going to be from a customer base. So basically sales that you can get paid off of that customer for the life of their accounts. So essentially, I have another company where I get paid off of the life of account of a cell phone service. So as long as the customer is paying their cell phone bill, I get income off of that. For the life of the account. Uh, okay. So it's more into the sales realm. Yeah, I was about to say it's more like sales. Yes. Yeah, but it can be a, it can be any customer base as long as you're getting still paid off of a customer base and you're not needing to go out there and acquire new customers. So more more or less you're you're getting paid month after month off of the same customer from that you've acquired. Basically, making a commission. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, series of videos that goes over each one individually and the different types. Um, I'll have that link in the meetup group uh, with the playlist of all the past videos, um, but we'll go over each one um, like this as well, live, so people can ask their questions just like you are. Okay. But definitely some good questions. Hopefully, I could. Uh, hopefully, uh, that brought some clarification to some, some yeah, it does. questions. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, great. Cool. Did you have additional questions? No, nope, that's it. All right. So, when's the next meeting? Uh, it'll be in two weeks. I'll have another virtual meeting uh, in two weeks, uh, just after the Super Bowl. Uh, so, we'll have that meet up. May be able to fit one more in on um, this month. I'll at least have one more. So, but I might I might do a third as well. Okay. But I'm gonna keep the cadence of uh, biweekly for the meetings uh, most of the time. So it'll be every other week. Okay, that'll work. Uh, so that way we'll basically we'll cover a topic. We'll have a week off for everybody to take action on the action plan, and then the following week we'll then we'll be on to a new topic. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, definitely. Uh, thanks for joining. I appreciate your time tonight and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next meeting. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.